God bless everyone and praise the Lord. God is good. It's worthy to be praised. I have a word from the Lord for you. I want to encourage you. I was reading this morning and it blessed me and I want to share with the people of God. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians verse 18. Check this out. Everything is from God. Does it really say everything? Everything is from God who reconciled, past tense, E-D at the end, who reconciled uh, us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of Reconciliation. Now let me explain this to you quickly. Paul the Apostle is writing to the church at Corinth. Perhaps you say, I don't care about that. That's history. It ain't got nothing to do with me. But in today's life, in today's culture, in today's generation, the Word of God still stands. Everything, the good that you get, perhaps even some of the bad and the ugly, it's from God. It's to discipline. It's to correct. It's to direct. And it's definitely to guide us. Everything is from God. It comes from the Lord. Your blessing, your health, your wealth comes from God. And it says here that He has reconciled us. He brought us back to Himself. Notice what it says, because some people have a problem reading this verse, and they get a little bit confused, but I'm going to try to explain it to you the way it is in the Bible. It says, everything is from God who hath reconciled us back to the church. Uh, wait a minute. Reconciled us back to the denomination. Oh, man, these glasses, they fail me. Reconciled us back to the bishop, the pastor. The Church of God in Christ, the Holiness Movement, the non-denominational, the Pentecostal, the Lutherans, the Presbyterian. Now, everything is from God who has reconciled us back to Himself. Mm -mm -mm. That ought to make you want to shout, Hallelujah! <laughs> he reconciled us back to Himself because He created us for relationship and we fell through Adam but in the second Adam which is Jesus he reconciled us back to himself through Christ death burial resurrection of Jesus Christ my friend what I'm trying to say is that you have a relationship with God if you don't have one there's one waiting for you and if you have one he wants you to press closer to him there is a relationship that God wants to have with His children, with His creation. He says, I reconciled you. I bought you with the price of the precious blood of the Lamb. And I give you the ministry of reconciliation. You walking around talking, I need a ministry. I want a ministry. I want to sit in church. I want somebody to use me. Give me a ministry. God gave you a ministry. He said, who has given us the ministry. Of reconciliation. Can that be possible? <clears throat> and God has put something in your hands. God has given you some work to do. He said he gave you the ministry. Ministry means servant or serving. He's giving you the servanthood to reconcile. Every Christian is a missionary. And every time you step out into the world, it's a mission field. There's somebody you can talk to to reconcile them back to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I would say the whole planet is my pulpit. And I got an opportunity to preach the reconciliation gospel of Jesus Christ that brings people back to himself, that brings friendships back to yourself, that brings family back to yourself, uh, reconciling back to Jesus. 
What we have today in our churches a division, cliques, separation. Everybody wants to get into their own thing. The musicians hang out with the musicians. Uh, the youth hang out with the youth. Uh, the choir hangs out with the choir. Uh, the minister hangs out with the ministers. Uh, the backsliders hang out with the backsliders that sit in the back of the church. Uh, but God has given the church, uh, he put in our hands, uh, the ministry uh, of reconciliation. That means it starts in the house of God. to uh, Bring everybody back together. Bring the young and the old. Mix them up. Uh, the old have wisdom and experience. The young have energy and strength uh, and vision. Uh, Reconciling everybody back to themselves. If you're my enemy, God wants you and I to be reconciled. If we had a relationship and it broke for whatever reason, God wants us to be reconciled. God has given us the ministry of reconciliation. So everywhere we go, we bring a word of peace. We bring a word of hope. We bring a word of life to reconcile people back to God and to ourselves so we can live the life that God intended for us to live a life full of health and wealth reconciled in the presence of God. I don't know about you, my friend, but this morning I feel reconciled to God. I don't know what I've done in the past. I forgot about it. I buried it. I left it behind. Today is a brand new day, and I'm walking in the reconciliation of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why I want to pray with you and pray for you and let you know that you can be reconciled with God. If I've offended anyone, I want to say I'm sorry and I want to reconcile if you've offended me come and apologize I'll accept it and forgive you and we can be reconciled God has given us the ministry of coming back together being restored reconciliation my God my God this morning think of someone you can reconcile with think of someone you can say I'm sorry to think of someone that needs to say sorry to you and be reconciled that's the ministry that God has given us I know there's ministries out here of preaching evangelism laying hands on the sick, being healed, the fivefold ministry, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, but God has given everybody the ministry of reconciliation, the opportunity to tell somebody, Jesus loves you, Jesus wants you to come to him, Jesus wants to build a relationship with him, if they refuse it, that's on them, but we have that ministry, Father, in the blessed name of Jesus, in the words, whoever's listening to me right now, that the power of God will touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, and if there's anyone out there, Lord, that needs to reconcile themselves to God I pray that you would touch them, speak to them send a word of reconciliation to them Lord let them know that you are still there that everything was created by you and for you and that you made us for yourself so that we can walk in the ministry of reconciliation, I pray for my friends, my families Lord, everybody that I know that I know from the past, that I know presently that I will know in the future I pray that I will be a light the strength to them Lord huh? my God hope to them life to them in the blessed name of Jesus I pray <laughs> amen and amen Woo! hallelujah mm, my God I tell you 6 30 in the morning you make me want to shout the praises of God because he's alive and he's real my God you've got the ministry of reconciliation don't take that lightly Take that to heart. God has called you to reconcile himself to you, you to him, and people to him, and people to you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Have a beautiful, wonderful, precious, marvelous, beautiful, glorious, great day today in the presence of God.